Hi everyone, I'm so excited to tell you about the 4D Professional System today. This system includes many different modules, the first of which, which is 4D Embroidery Extra. This has the ability to use shapes, letters, actually you can do a little bit of your own digitizing right within this program. One of my favorite things to do with the 4D Embroidery Extra is using the shapes. And with the shapes, you can see, I actually filled up a hoop and then just placed it directly on my garment, this little jacket that I made. And I also was able to edit out the collar and put a little piece right on the collar, just like that. Very fun, very easy, and it's all within 4D Embroidery Extra. Another thing that you can do in 4D Embroidery Extra is actually the Encore function, and this is a really great one. With the Encore, you can take one element of a design. So let's say I have this one element here. Instead of having to copy and paste and put all these other pieces in, all I do is say Encore, and it will put it in the proper place and make these beautiful um, embroideries that are on our table runner. It's really quite wonderful. With the 4D Embroidery Extra, one of the things that we often want to do is take a garment and then put a little design and maybe some letters around with it. With the letters in 4D Embroidery Extra, there are over 100 pre-digitized fonts. Some of these fonts are a little bit more basic and others are just quite beautiful, including like the Renaissance font that you see here that has many different colors. One of my favorite fonts is the Acorn font. This font has six different colors and it's beautiful for monograms on towels as well as on napkins. Another font that is really lovely, and actually it's a lot of fun, is the, um, it's actually called Mice and Cheese. And the cheese actually are your letters where the mice are the numbers. And you can see you can place a mouse just directly right on top of a letter and it looks like he's eating the cheese, just hanging out. Very, very fun. You can also use other fonts that are com on your computer with our quick font function. The quick font allows you to take true type and open type fonts from your computer. So basically you have no limitations to the number of fonts that you can have. It only depends on what fonts are directly on your computer. It's really great and you don't have to worry about getting new fonts. They're all right there for you. So with 4D Professional System, another part of this is actually called the 4D Design Enhancer. This includes two modules. The first module is the Stitch Editor, and this is one of the pieces that I love. The Stitch Editor allows me to take a design, so I'm just going to take another jacket that I've made here. And if we look at this jacket right here, what you can see, and hold it up for the camera just a little bit, is this is one particular design. So from here to here is one design. And what I wanted to do was take out a, just a piece to go on the collar of my jacket. So that's what I did. I actually took that design and cut it up in the stitch editor. So you can see those are pieces and parts of the one design right there. You can see that part? And you can also see that little part. And those are great ways to finish off a garment. And on the back, I took the design all the way around, so it went all the way around the edge and I actually had just a little empty spot right here. So what I was able to do is just place that design there, finished off the whole jacket. Really, really neat way to do it. Also, with our stitch editor, we have a function that's called morphing and this is actually very fun. This is the original design. And with the morphing, you can actually pinch designs, you can skew them, you can swirl them, you can do all sorts of things. So you can see how it's swirled right here. The reason, another reason why, I guess I've done a lot of jackets because on another jacket, this particular design, using the Encore function in Embroidery Extra, I created the flower. And then from the Encore function, I took it into Editor and then morphed the design slightly so you can see how the flower just has a little twist to it. It just looks real pretty. Adds a great, 
great accent to this jacket. So the morphing is a really fun thing to do. And you can see, you can take almost anything and morph your designs, even this little bunny rabbit. You can see how he just looks very fun, and you can see all the morphing that we've done with him. Another part of our Who's Front of Viking professional system is the cross-stitcher program. And with the cross-stitcher, it's actually quite lovely. We, we see... Here, I'm just going to bring this little guy out. This is a very traditional sort of cross-stitch sampler. You can see different flowers, leaves, how everything is just created, and you have a little board around it right on your 8 o'clock. This was done on the sewing machine, which I just think is wonderful. Something that maybe isn't quite as traditional with your cross-stitch is actually, you can see you can do your pets right here, as well as this little guy. And what this has done, you can see this is commemorating, this cross stitch is commemorating the birth of a son. I actually like the cross stitch programs because it gives you a wonderful way to make something for a, um, like a, oh goodness, a, a housewarming or anything like that going to back away. You can see the home sweet home here done in cross stitch on the sewing machine on Ada cloth and this is just beautiful to give as a gift and again a more traditional piece to the right of that is just the little cross stitch leaves just beautiful to hang up and accent in your home.